Hello and welcome to another The Phone Update video. This is the second episode of my new series, Game Boys Rock. The first being the 1989 Brick Game Boy review. Well, today, which is, a matter of fact, not very long after I posted the first video, we're going to be reviewing the Game Boy Pocket. This is the second Game Boy that Nintendo released, and hardware-wise, it is identical to the original Fat Game Boy. I mean, although the screen on this does look bigger, it has actually got exactly the same size screen. I know it kind of looks a little weird, but it has. Now, this is, was designed to be an upgrade from the original Fat Game Boy, because as you can see, it is much, much slimmer and much, much smaller. And it's also a lot better designed, and, you know, it fits in your hand a lot better, so you can just sit here and, you know, play all your favourite games, like Tetris. Um, I have mine in the transparent colour, which in my opinion is the best colour ever made, because you can see all the circuit boards and, um, and everything, and it's just really cool to be able to see inside your gadgets, because normally you don't, you don't get to do that. Now, in terms of design, it is very similar to the later released Game Boy Color, but we'll touch on that on another review. Side by side it's slightly smaller, um, and the Game Boy Color has, um, it's slightly thicker at the bottom because of its um, battery hatch, which I have also lost the cover for, as well as this one. Just with the original Game Boy, I brought this off eBay. Um, Ten quid, came with batteries, it's in relatively good condition, uh, like I said, I lost the back of it. This um, Game Boy plays the same games as the original Game Boy, and I'll just uh, show it to you here. Here's the famous Tetris. Also to note is that this one doesn't actually lock the cartridge in like the original. I kind of find it easier to accidentally slip this, well, not accidentally, but it's a lot easier to slip it out and you know, even when it's on and stuff, but don't recommend you do that. Right, let's see if we can get this on camera. As you can see, it starts up exactly the same as the original. Same screen resolution and everything. And there you have it. Exactly the same. See, it looks a little dark because I have the uh, contrast set a oh. little. There we go, that's better. Um, but I... Alright, moving on with the review. Get a bit random here. Unplanned review. Anyway, um, another good thing about this Game Boy is it only uses two AAA batteries uh, instead of the four AA, which the original used, so much more battery efficient. Um, it's a lot more pocket friendly as well. And in my opinion, personally, I think this was one of the best Game Boys ever made. It may not have colour graphics and it may be 8 bit, but it's so small, it's so well designed, and I mean, it's transparent. How many devices do you know that are transparent? I, I honestly think this is a brilliant Game Boy, and if you want to start your own collection like I have, this is definitely, definitely one you need. Um, you can experience all the great original Game Boy games, um, but you don't need a big brick, brick Game Boy. I mean, I know they're nice to have, but this is definitely the one of the best Game Boys they ever made. Um, taking around a tour of the device, you have the headphone socket now on the bottom and a smaller um, power connector there. On this side, you have your contrast switch. On the top, you also have your cartridge port and the uh, power switch. This side, a redesigned, um, uh, what do you call it, multiplayer cable thing, and uh, volume control, which was in, on the opposite side to the original Game Boy. Um, so yeah, this is the, has been the, what was that, 1996 Game Boy Pocket. Thank you for watching, and... Uh, Tune in soon to catch another episode of Game Boys Rock. This has been the phone update, and thank you for watching. Don't forget you're playing with power.